there has always been a need for African scientists to drive scientific prioritization in Africa. There has been this mistake whereby we say invest 1% of the GDP into R&D. But the question is, for what? You can't make decisions unless you are able to inform your policy making by data and evidence. The African Scientific Prioritization Program is a new initiative and program that we have put here with our thought partner, Aouda Nepad. We bring in the best brains in each sector. Then we sit down and look at what are the pertinent R and D areas that need to be addressed. We want to make sure that programs are being driven by priorities. You start with defining the priorities, then we build the programs, and then we fund those priorities. One of the important aspects of the African scientific prioritization is to engage with a lot of partners across the continent and globally. No one single organization can deliver on its own. We are facilitating working groups to get together. Policy briefs will then go to some of the Pan-African partners that we are working with. We are aligning our strategies with SDG targets and national targets. In terms of the Pan-African strategy, we start with the big agenda defined in the Agenda 2063 and strategic plans for science, technology and innovation up to the year 2024, whether it is growing food or good health or good shelter. There are many levels in which we can see there will be impacts. Food security is critical to us meeting our SDG goals. The working group has determined that climate resilience is one of the critical areas of development. The majority of the African population still get their livelihoods from the agriculture sector. The impact goes beyond just putting food on the table. Africa has a population that has the greatest genetic diversity on Earth. Genomic medicine has so much potential to improve the way we implement healthcare. Most of the genomic medicine related research has been happening through the Asia Africa Consortium. We now have an amazing research infrastructure and clinical infrastructures where you are screening, monitoring and treating patients. The collaboration is building the infrastructure to facilitate genomics research in Africa by African researchers. Data is an important enabler of innovation and research. The Data and Specimen Governance Committee identified issues that are in need of urgent attention. We came up with corresponding recommendations to help the continent. With the ongoing pandemic, we've seen the importance of data sharing. The AAS, beginning in March, put together a task force, a rapid response team. We had talked to approximately 1,400 different scientists on the African continent. And the question we were asking them was, if we were to conduct research and development activities on COVID-19 on the continent, what are those things that we needed to do? The way the member states have reacted to the advice that they received did quite a bit in limiting the spread of COVID-19. It is important that African scientists are able to describe priorities that are focused on Africa. Africa is not just a recipient of scientific discoveries. Africa is a contributor I'm very optimistic about how we are going to move over the next five years. You talk of health, you talk of agriculture, you talk of environment. It's science that basically is addressing challenges and opportunities that the countries are facing. These priorities are the continuum that takes us from original questions to impact. <laughs>